and welcome back. In this video, we're going to show you how to edit MIDI clips using the piano roll view in the edit tab. You can also edit audio clips, but we're going to go over that in a separate video. We're using the same session that I've been using for the last few tutorial videos. When you don't have any clips selected in the arranger, and you click on the edit tab, which is located here in the tab bar, you won't see anything except for this little bit of text that will tell you, click to create a new clip. When you click on a clip to select it in the arranger, you will see MIDI or audio appear in the above tab. Depending on the type of clip that you select will determine what you actually see in the edit tab. In this particular session, we have all MIDI clips, so we're not going to see any audio when we click around. You can do a number of different types of edits to your MIDI data in the Piano Roll view in the Edit tab. The first thing I want to show you, though, is that you can change the size of the viewable area of the Edit tab by clicking and dragging on the middle of the control bar. You'll see you get these two text messages at the top and the bottom of your screen. I could drag down to adjust the viewable area of the piano roll view. I can maximize it as I've done here, or I can just adjust it slightly. This allows you to either see more of the edit area or more of the arranger area. Because we're going to be selecting clips in the arranger and also working in the above tab, I'm not going to maximize the piano editor in the edit tab. I'm just going to keep it for where it is for right now. The piano roll view in the edit tab has three different controls. They are located here on the bottom right hand side. The control that is selected by default is the pointer tool. In the middle is the pencil tool. And on the far right is the velocity tool. The pointer tool allows you to select notes. When you select notes, you will hear the note being played. I have a drum clip selected. So what you're hearing right now are the different parts of the drum kit. If I change my selection to the bass, and I click on the individual notes, I'm going to hear the notes of the bass. Additionally, to the side, there is a vertical keyboard. This shows you what octave you're working with, but can also be used to preview a note. You can select notes individually, as I'm doing here. You can lasso select notes, which means selecting a group of notes that are contiguous or together. To lasso select, simply click and drag your mouse, and you'll see a box start to be created. All of the notes that are inside that box will be selected. If you want to select notes that are not next to each other, Simply hold down the shift key on your computer's keyboard and select the notes. With the pencil tool, you can draw notes. Remember, you can use undo in the piano roll view to undo your last actions. The velocity tool allows you to change the velocity or perceived volume of a given note. Select the tool and then select the note that you want to use by clicking and holding on the note. Scroll up to increase velocity and scroll down to decrease. You will hear a preview of the note changing as you scroll up and down. Piano Roll View has a grid, which allows you to draw notes within specific increments. For example, if I select the pointer tool and I start drawing notes, I'm drawing quarter notes because the grid is selected to a quarter note. If I wanted to, if I wanted to draw an eighth notes, all I would have to do is to select eighth note in the grid, and then I would be able to draw eighth notes. I could change the duration of a note by moving my cursor to either the beginning or the end, 
and dragging out the desired length. Depending on what value the grid is set to will determine the increments at which you can increase or decrease the length of a note. You also have a zoom control within the piano roll. These controls are located to the lower right. You can change the duration of the entire clip within the editor tab. I'm going to show you how to do this for MIDI clips. We'll go over how to do this with audio clips in a separate video. I'm going to pull this whirly clip out of the multi clip just for this demonstration. As you can see in the arranger, we have the four bar clip. As I play back the four bar clip, I see the four bars appear in the piano roll editor. Say if I wanted to just have the first two bars of this clip play, meaning I want to trim the clip, all I would have to do is take my cursor to the outer edge of the clip in the piano roll in the editor tab and drag it in. The blue highlighted area indicates the clip length. And that clip length is also reflected in the corresponding clip in the arranger. So now when I play this back, it's only going to play the first two bars and it will loop. If I wanted to increase the length of a clip, I could go back and do the same thing I just did, except in the opposite direction. That should give you a pretty good overview of the tools that are available to you for editing MIDI clips in the Edit tab. For more information, refer to the user's guide available in the Help menu. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next video.